uh, shift register in a nutshell convert the serial interface to parallel interface sacrificing the time in the process here's the data sheet for the 74 series 164 shift register it has two data inputs which are labeled a and b we can connect any of them to our data input and if the second one should be tied high or plus 5 volts and uh, there's also not MR input which is the reset input it should be tied to high if we want to behave normally so we want our scheme to behave normally or otherwise it should be tied to low and in this case it will reset the content of the ship register and of course it has the clock input label CP We'll be using Arduino for supplying the clock input. Lastly, quite obvious, there is also data outputs. Okay, here's the simple schematic on the breadboard. We have the 74 series 164 ship register on the left, and the top notch is also on the left. Normally uh, the button is depressed, so the input is tied to ground. You can see this yellow uh, wire. And uh, when it's pressed, the plus 5 volts will be supplied to the data input. The other data input is shorted to the plus 5 volts. And uh, the rest of uh, the Q number outputs are connected to the LEDs and then current flows through the LEDs and uh, the 250 ohm uh, resistor and to the common wire the black wire is GND on the Arduino and the red wire is plus 5 volts. The green wire is the clock signal. No, not this green wire. This green wire is the another one. This one. Here's the plus 5 volts. And here is the program uh, which is generating the clock signal. Basically, we set the 12th pin to high for 1 millisecond, then to low and wait 200 milliseconds, thereby creating a clock pulse. The 200 millisecond delay between clock pulses is just enough so we are able to see what's going on. Here's the data input for the shift register.
Let's see what happens when we remove the data input from the circuit. Make it hanging. And as we can see, the state of the data input is quite random. Could be some kind of noise present in the plus 5 volt line of Arduino. That's my guess. I don't know. And we can touch it and the pattern will change. It's definitely some kind of noise here. So the lesson here is always tie your data input to either high or low state. Never leave them unconnected or hanging. Well, I guess this is it. Thanks for watching and have fun with electronics.